Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right. I have a, a golf instruction lesson that I, I found somewhere. I was reading a golf digest and I snagged it out of it. In fact, I might have got it here because I started reading, receiving golf digests all of a sudden. So I, I thumb, thumb through it now and then. But as I think you all know, uh, since we're on that side of the street and the rest of the golf world is on that side of the street, a lot of what you're going to read anywhere or hear anywhere in any other type of instruction will be in good conflict to PPGS because we're not on the same side of the street. Well, I read one here and it's a four, it has four pictures of a golfer in a sequence here. And uh, three of the four, the, you know, staying generic stuff ain't too, isn't too bad. But the third one, which is called post impact, they got a they got a, a backswing one where the player's about there, back going back. Then they got at the top of the backswing, and then they got post impact. They got the player there, and then they got the finish. And I guess I won't like the finish either because he's kind of like this, and, and he's twisted up, you know, like this, finishing here, and, and the body's curved this way. But I'm, I'm just going to talk about the post impact. And here's what it says. When tour players talk about staying down through the shot, this is what they mean. The ball is long gone, and I'm still basically in the same posture I was at impact. If you struggle to hit the ball solid, focus on staying down longer. Now he said, I'm in, the ball is long gone, I'm still basically in the same posture I was at impact, which means he's all the way, he's got the club. The view is kind of from down the line. So he's in the, he's in the position here. And he says, basically, the position he was at impact, he's all the way to there, and he's still here. All right? And, I mean, his right arm is, is naturally fully extended out. And so he'd be seeing it more like, I guess, another way from here, I'm going to do about sideways. He's like this. And the head's still there. Now, I don't know about you, but just doing that, he was starting to pull my muscles right here. Now, I guess if you did it every day and you might stretch them out more, that would be good. But as being surgites, you know that what's the number one thing I say about impact? Once you strike the ball, you cannot stand up fast enough. I want you coming up like a Pop-Tart out of a toaster. So I, I actually say, if, if when you hit the ball, your eyes were closed, as quick as you can open them up, right? My eyes were closed. As quick as I can open them up, I want to be standing here looking at the ball in the air. How fast can you open your eyes? Think a blink. That's what I call it, a blink of an eye. In the old days, that's, that's a carryover from ever and ever. Hit down on the ball, stay down until your right shoulder hits your chin. That's one of the biggest things that causing back problems and neck problems and shoulder problems. Because you got this, you're still here, and what happens? Your, your shoulder finally hits, in, uh, hits into your chin. Right? And then, and then it helps, and at that point, because you're going to try swinging your arms up, you're using your shoulder to help lift your head. Well, I don't know about you, but I can stand here like this. I can stand here like this, and, and without moving a darn thing, I can lift my head up like that without moving one muscle in my shoulder or whatever. That's why God gave us neck muscles, so that we can, we can move the head independently of the body. Huh? I mean, you see these commercials of, of uh, people bury themselves in the sand, but they're still moving their head, right? When they, at the beach, they're at the beach and they bury themselves in the sand. And they're still moving their head around. They can't move their shoulders, they're buried in the sand. I still think, I, what I think that is, is saying this stuff is like sticking your head in the sand instead. That's how I think wrong it is. So, Pop Tart, make impact. Once I hit it, bang, everything stands up. Annika Sorenstam, David Duval, look at them. They're actually, they're, they're actually, in many cases, their head's almost, their head's almost already turning before they hit the ball. I think they're actually slightly turned ahead. I wouldn't, I wouldn't copy that because I think that's going to really take an unbelievable sense of timing. But they're two, they're two that are, that I think are even more extreme than what BPGS says about pot targeting. You want to reduce stress and strain. You want to keep the club moving faster and keep yourself down the line because you keep your head here too long and your head stays too long. Where does your shaft go? It can't go up. Your head's in the way. It's going to be tough to go up. And if it does, it's very likely not going to be able to release enough to, to have hit the ball solid and straight. So keeping your head down in any way, shape, or form until your shoulder hits your chin or as in this case saying, keeping your, 
instead of saying keeping your head down, he's saying the same thing by maintaining that spine. I think that's even worse because now you're, this is going to have to tighten up as, it, as the collision with your chest happens, with your shoulder happens to the head. It's going to have to tighten up to make sure you don't do what? Fall back. So all the low body's having to tighten up. Now, hey, these, these are world class players. This player's one of the best ones on tour. And he, you know, he, they use him as, as, uh, as the example here because he did the, he did it and his, uh, they use him and he, guess he talked about the way he feels about swinging. So we want to swing up, stand up, AFAP, recall and relax. Speed does not come, and power does not come from a lot of body movement. It comes from what? Little body movement, little body movement and swing your arms faster. Centrifugal force, rock on a string. Here's the rock, here's the string. Stable body, swing your rounds faster. You hit it more solid, straight, and longer, and that will help you play better golf. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.